Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode four, and we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And we finished up the prologue mission that kind of finishes, finishes, uh, or helps you explore the controls of the game. If you've played Knights of the Old Republic 1, you'll find the controls themselves to be very similar. There's some new skills, some new crafting bench options that we'll be exploring a little bit more to come. And uh, some other good fun stuff. But uh, So we built a character. We got through the prologue and, and a quick rundown of how, how the controls work. And we're about to travel to... Paragus, Pegorus, Perogus, Perogies, mm, Perogies. Okay, all right. Let's. Uh, I, I'm going to assume that much like the first one, there's this annoying movie that doesn't show when you have the game capture on. So let me switch to the desktop capture, and let me hit travel. And oh, the sensor oh, show the bumps. door to the storage compartment is. Someone or something else alive hmm. on the Ebon Hawk. Oh, hey, he looks familiar. Oh, that can't be good. No, that can't be good at all. I remember that assassin droid. He looks very familiar. Looks like he's going to make another appearance. Hey! That dashingly handsome and stunning baritone, oh Anon Jr. He's whispering. Alright. Strange. Alright, now we're back to the game rendering and all that. feel very alive all of a sudden. Alright, so we got a new journal entry. Recent history. Bonus mission. You have awakened in a medical bay in an unknown facility. The last thing you remember is being a passenger on the Republic capital ship, the Harbinger. You should find out where you are and how you got here. Alright, so there's our map of the medical bay so far. As we explore, that'll fill in, which is always good to know. Um... Let's go ahead and save our, our, our game and uh, save. Use them. Spell it right. Number five, live. Oh, I guess we gotta, I was gonna put main, but all right. Okay. So we got that. That's where our party stuff goes, if we ever get a party. There's our skills. Our stats. Oh wait, no. We got 34 hit points. That's... That, okay. That, I feel better about that. I was worried about how some of the character creation stuff went. Alright. Um, I don't know what that says, but that can't be good. Yeah, that's not looking much better. Alright, that's where I came from. I could probably re-enter the tank if I wanted to, but I am at full health, so, uh... Not gonna worry about that. I, I see lots of dead people. I see dead people. Okay. Immersion in Colto tanks can heal most wounds. Time wounds all heals. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you've lost vitality points during your explorations, return here to the medical bay and use the empty cult of tank behind you to heal your wounds. Good to know. Alright, let's run around in our skivvies and see what we can find out. Alright, so we got a door, we got a busted door, and we got... Morgue door? We did put it... Oh, impossible. Impossible? Like, like, impossible, impossible? Or just impossible at our current skill level? Nope. 
Alright, oh. I gotta remember. Uh, those stances do help with different things, uh, like force regeneration, attack, and all that. Uh, I'll have to... I'll have to pull up the notes on that one later. Alright, so we got a damaged door. What about this door? Can we at least, like, you know, get some clothes? Armor? Robes? Something? Anything? What's in the medical bag container? Some med packs. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Alright, so that gives us some med packs on our quick bar there. I don't see anything to hit there. What's on the medical computer? Paragus Medical Bay Council Emergency Lockdown. Let's uh, take a look at the medical logs. So we've got dash 12, dash 15, dash 18. Dash 12 is the oldest, so let's go ahead and go in sequence here. Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Only one survivor, placed in the Coltal tank for recovery. The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the Nava computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to make it inside the Paragus asteroid field without the asteroid drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. Oh. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board. Sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. Okay. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to... Okay. That was awfully abrupt. Could be a Jedi, but we won't know for sure until we get the transmission back from the Republic. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korja, are already st Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. If the lockdown oh. measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the Kulto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get oh. any specifics. I wonder if that's our assassin droid there. Miners about the our Jedi. mysterious person knocking on the door. A number of the droids have been acting oddly, and not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance, but we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts, and with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Telo shipment for this month. Fortunately, oh. the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning. There has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown hmm. commencing. All personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No! If the ventilation systems are malfunctioning... Evacuate the medical bay! Everyone evac... Well, I, I guess that, uh, that explains why there's only the people in the tanks. Although... Why am I the only one that, uh, survived? Alright. What else do we have? Uh, alright. So that's the medical bay camera. What's in the morgue? We got the two bodies in the morgue. Let's unlock the door to the morgue. Let's see if there's, uh, anything to recover from the bodies in the morgue. That's a little gruesome. What else we got? It looks as if a number of medical based items can be manufactured using the medical workbench next to the terminal. Ooh, nice. Okay. I, I love how the game actually like makes you as the character stop and look real quick. Like in case you weren't sure what the medical bench was that was right next to the place you were standing. It's like, do you see that thing right there? That's the thing you're looking at. I can appreciate that. I'm okay with that. Alright, uh... That's the inventory. Patient treatment, life signs, that's the medical bay. Let's unlock the medical storage room. That could be useful too. Alright, so camera, camera, inventory, console. Alright. That's about all we can do here. Good. I like extra XP. Let's, uh... Oh, that's empty. Do we have anything? What can we make? Let's learn a little bit about creating items since we're here. Alright, a character can create certain items at a lab station using chemicals. 
Gamma goals. Which can be found, purchased, or obtained by breaking down other items. Love the selective caps. Uh, sorry. Treat, injury, and demolitions play a role in item creation at labs. Ooh. Uh, then maybe I don't want to let uh, treat, injury sink behind everything else, since that's going to determine what I can make at the consoles. I forgot about that when building the character. Uh, I'm not going to go back and redo that, just to balance it out. So I'll just have to make sure that going forward... I put, uh, instead of worrying about catching up, uh, awareness, I'll, I'll try to catch up treat injury. Um, alright, so what other, what items can be created? So, more complex or valuable items require higher skills and more chemicals to create. So you can make, uh, health-related items, stimulants, ah, you can build mines and grenades. That's why the demolition, that's where the demolition skill comes in. Alright. Um, you can break down an item to acquire chemicals, which can then be used to create other different items. Use it to recycle the items you don't want or need. Uh, although I suspect we're going to take a slightly different route. I, if I, if I've been reading correctly, and I'm going to have to double check between streams, but if I'm reading correctly, it's better in the long run to sell the items you don't need and use the credits to buy either the components or the items that you would be creating instead. Um, unless you got more money than you need. In the in that case you haven't been spending it. What are you doing? Alright, let's uh let's leave the lab station alone for now, because our inventory is not exactly bristling with items. We've got med packs. Yeah, no. That's it. We got med packs. And so we don't have a lot to build with, so let's uh, let's loot some stuff and then maybe come back if we need to. Oh, so there's some chemicals. Okay. So the game's kind of coaching you along in this building thing. So many med-based items are based on chemicals. It may be useful to take these chemicals to the medical workbench bay and turn them into a med pack. Are you going to give me the other stuff I need? Oh, like a couple of med packs already ready. I'm kind of sad now that we don't have demolitions as a skill, because I like using grenades. If you remember from the uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1, the, fir the very first stream we did, I leaned a lot on grenades. Uh, they are nice. Alright, let's use the lab station now. Uh, what can we break stuff down? Mid packs. Uh, nope, that's, that's what we're actually going to make. Can we even make any grenades? Okay, so we can make a frag grenade, but that's going to cost us uh, 40 chemicals out of, out of the 25 that we have, so maybe not. Oh, uh, and we need three demolitions, a demolition skill of three, which we don't have, but it'll let me actually build the frag grenade, but not the others. Interesting. Huh. All right. Uh, the mines are probably going to be the same, right? It looks like there's a couple we can build anyway, even though we don't have Demolitions 3 for the skill. Oh, okay. No, we only have Demolitions 3, and it requires 8. Okay. All right, I see. Because of our intelligence and the 1 point, that's what gives us the 3 that we need. All right, so Stimulants, the... The, these did come in handy, and we might build a few of those as we go. Um, I'd like I'd used more of the battle stimulants than anything else, but I don't have the treat injury to do anything with it. So all we're going to be able to build is a strength boost, and that's that's not a useful use of our time. Um, strength D package. <laughs> oh oh oh, that's right. Component the. Uh, Implants work different in Knights of the Old Republic, too. Instead of having it to take a feat and getting that class level, like you took the first level feat and you could use class 1 implants, you took the second level feat and you can get class 2 implants, and the third level feat and you could do class 3 implants, this is all based on your constitution score. And, and so the Strength D package, which bumps your constitution and your strength by one each... 
you need a, a minimum constitution of 18 and a treat injury of 11 to make. So that's not on the list. And this one isn't because it's one of the more advanced ones. This one's just out of our reach. And it means that if we want to really rely on the implants to uh, supplement uh, things like, uh, I don't know, a low charisma, um, <laughs> then uh, we, we need to bump up the constitution a little bit quicker. I probably should have done that in uh, creation, but I forgot about the implant change. Learn from my mistake. All right, reflex package. That would be nice. We can use that, but we don't have a high enough treat injury yet. Uh, we're one shy of an antidote kit. We Oh, we're a lot shy of a advanced med pack. So, all right. Let's create it. There we go. And we're out of chemical. Well, we got five chemicals total, um, but not enough to actually make another med pack. So, there we go. Mission accomplished. Any other bonus missions we got in here? No? Nope. Okay. So there all that is. Let's uh, rummage around the morgue. What's the corpse got? There's a plasma torch in the corpse? That's... Why is there a plasma torch in the... I'm just going to get the item. Nope. That's it. Just going to get the item. Oh! Hello! You look like you were nearly dead. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Uh, I was going to loot you next. Oh, I don't see that option on the uh, conversation list. All right, uh, I could go with, I thought you were dead, your voice, I heard it as I floated in the cult of the tank, or who are you? Who, 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 no. All right, let's, uh, let's go with, I heard your voice. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one, or perhaps you have been trained for such things. Um... Alright, so just stay out of my mind in the future. Now, what do you want? Slept too long. You looked dead when I came in. I mean, uh, no. Um, so you can touch minds and feign death. Who are you? Yeah, now is the time to I ask that Claire, question. And I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Uh, I'm the one asking questions, or last thing I remember. All right, I want to play this character kind of neutral good, so it's going to be a good character. And while I'm not going to go out of my way to uphold the law, I'm not going to go out of my way to break the law. All right, so let's go with uh, last thing I remember. Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result uh, of your Jedi training, no doubt. Well, result of a little droid running through the prologue, but potato, potato. If you think I'm a Jedi, you're mistaken. I'm no longer a member of the Order. How do you know I was a Jedi? Um, I, I love how they this is the game's subtle way of letting you know that you're not currently a member of the Order. Although it doesn't tell you why. Nice. I like the mystery. All right. I am no longer a member of the Order. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. Yeah. Uh, let's deal with it now. What is this place? That is no business of yours. The Jedi Order and I have a troubled history. It's complicated. All right, let's go with the troubled history. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. Alrighty then. So how do we get out of here? What's going on, or what is this place? All right, let's start with what is this place. I do place. not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the hmm. surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. All right. 
Uh... <laughs> we? What's this we? No. Care to explain why you're in such a hurry, or why do we need to leave? Uh, let's start with the hurry. We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. Okay. Alright, then else I should keep a lookout for. I'll go look out for the ship and some weapons. We'll see. You seem nervous, worried. Is something wrong or persuade? Are you sure? There's nothing else you can tell me. What are the odds we're going to win that persuade? Let's start with the awareness. Even as I slept, I felt much unrest here. I saw strange visions, minds colored with fear. Now, everything here feels terribly silent. A last word of caution. I would find out as much as you can about this place quickly. I fear we will need to depart as suddenly as we arrived. Okay. Um. Anything else I should keep an eye out for? You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just stay out of my way. You'll end up like these corp. No. I'll take things out of my own. Nah, I don't know. I'll return soon. Are you well enough to travel? All right. I'll return soon to make I sure you're right. I the explorations of this place. Here, I will remain and attempt to center myself. Okay, so we got some light side points. Our journal entry. There's nothing in the corpse. Uh, all right. You've taken your first steps on the path to the light side. Heroic acts and charitable responses to others will elevate you further bringing you more in touch with the light side of the force and its higher mysteries. Cruel or selfish actions will reverse this, causing you to fall to the dark side. Dun dun dun! Alright. So, that answers that. I bet this means that when we get here, we, we can start using the uh, security tool to bash. So... We met an elder, so our bonus mission has uh, been updated. We met an elder woman named Kira, who informs us that she rescued you from the Harbinger, yada yada. And we need to get to the Ebon Hawk. We got some new gear. We got a plasma torch, so it is a melee weapon. And it can cut through sealed doors and containers. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, equip that plasma torch. There we go. Not much, but better than nothing. <laughs> I, I love that dramatic draw of the plasma torch. Alright. So, with that, I'm going to uh, call this episode done. I'm going to hit the cue card for the outro, and then... Uh, and then we'll continue the stream. We're not quite done for today yet. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.